Hello, I'm now going to demonstrate how to download and install the AXE 027 PICAX USB download cable. It's a USB to serial converter uh, built into a cable. And the first thing you're going to do is type in AXE 027 uh, USB, no, um, I see A X T E whoops uh, driver. There we go. Click on that, and you see I searched it before. So click on the first one that comes up, and that brings you to their website. Click the download, and what we are after is the Windows USB driver zip file format. So that one, okay. So click Windows download and save it to wherever you want to save it to. It's not very large. Takes oh less than twenty seconds to download. Okay, so I'm now going to open containing folder. Ding ding ding. Uh, first thing you want to do, double click it. Uh, click extract, extract all. Now remember where you're going to extract this to. What I do, I copy it, click extract, and there we have it. Now the next thing we're going to do is press Windows key X and go to device manager. Okay, there's our device manager. I am now going to insert the USB. Now, when you put the USB in, it's really important you put it into the same USB port every single time. Okay. Now, oh, got lots of stuff in here. There we have it, other devices. Do a right click, say install, update driver software, sorry. Uh, search automatically or browse my computer. You're gonna browse my computer. And now I'm going to paste in what I copied before and click next. And I'm going to, when that pops up, would you like to install this device software? Yep, install. And close. That looks awesome, doesn't it? However, if you look in your device manager, you will see a new USB serial port has arrived. Now, this is where it gets complicated. So you want to update this one. Uh, browse my computer. We've still got that in. Click Next. Accept that. And now your USB driver will be installed. OK, so we have AXE 027 USB, which is on COM4. You will need to use that when you go and uh, install the when you go and configure the port. All right, well done.